Hi, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel Vijay Biology Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about the nutrition chapter bits, some of the bits and some of the question and answers we are going to cover in this video. And before going to the topic, please do subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, please hit the bell button. Okay, now before going to the video, first of all, these worksheets were given by the government of AP. AP Vidya Varadi. The pro already they have started and many of the children are watching in the Doordarshan. Lessons are going on and along with the lessons they have released some of the worksheets. And many of the children are not able to uh, answer the worksheets properly. They are having some doubts. So in order to clarify their doubts I am doing this video. Okay now going to the topic. So in the worksheet number 1, 5 up to 1 to 5 bits were given and from 6th, 7th, 8th. Two, one mark questions are given and ninth and 10th like 4 mark questions they have given. Now let us go to the bit part. So first bit is food needed by all the living organisms for dash. Here whatever is written in red ink up to question number 5. These are the answers for the blanks. Okay. Already I have done the video regarding this lesson and if you want you can go through the video. So the first bit is food needed by all the living organisms for dash. We need the food for growth and repair. If the uh, nutrients if you see whatever nutrients we take into our body they will be helpful for our body. And if you take especially proteins they are helpful for the growth and repair. So the food is required for all the living organisms for growing their body parts, growing the cell size and they are also helpful for the repair of the worn out tissues and the dead tissues. Next going to the second part. Second blank, plants prepare the food materials for the by the process called as. So already we are studying this bit from our 7th uh, class itself, we have learned that. So the plants prepare the food material by the process called as photosynthesis. What is photo? What is synthesis? Photo means light. Synthesis means preparation. So the plants will do their food preparation by using the light energy. The next bit is dash are the universal food providers. So here the plants are the universal food providers. Why are we calling the plants as the universal food providers? Because the plants are having a specific pigment in their leaves or in their body parts. That is a chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is not present in all the living organisms. Only the plants are having the chlorophyll and some of the microorganisms are also having the green color pigment. So mostly the plants are more in number and they are having rich amount of the chlorophyll. They can prepare the food material by using the sunlight. So that's why only if the plants can prepare the food material they can give it to us as well as the animals also depends upon the plants. That's why the plants are called as the universal food providers. That is the third bit. And next going to the fourth bit. The energy source for plants to prepare food is sun. So where do the plants get the energy from? They get the energy from the main source that is the sun. If the sun do not give the light energy they can't prepare the food material. So sun is the main energy source for the plants to prepare the food material. And the fifth bit is Von Neal first worked on dash bacteria. Here this person Von Neal, he is the scientist who have said that during the process of the photosynthesis, some of the carbohydrates are synthesized and along with the carbohydrates, water molecule as well as the oxygen is also released. He also wanted to do some experiments on the purple sulfur bacteria and he did on purple sulfur bacteria. What he has observed is like plants only, the purple sulfur bacteria is also releasing the oxygen. But in place of water, it is releasing the elemental sulfur. Let me be clear here. Here, the plants will release H2O at the end of the photosynthesis. But the purple sulfur bacteria, it will release the elemental sulfur. So that's what he has observed in the purple sulfur bacteria. So he is the person who worked on the purple sulfur bacteria. Up to here, the five blanks are completed. Next, going to the one mark questions. The sixth question is, I am a reagent used to test for starch. Who am I? Here, the iodine solution is the answer for it. Without the iodine solution, you can't test the presence of the starch. Iodine solution is very much important to test the presence of starch. The next question is, write a simplified formula for photosynthesis. Here, 
the formula for the photosynthesis was given in a simplified manner by the cb1 neil he is the person who has given this equation and here if you see the equation carbon dioxide plus two molecules of water in the presence of the light and chlorophyll it will synthesize carbohydrate molecule as well as the water and o2 will be released okay here in the presence of the light and chlorophyll it's very much important because without these two there will be no photosynthesis occurring next going to the next question what is the method of nutrition followed by the plants the nutrition is called as autotrophic nutrition what is the answer for it autotrophic nutrition what is autotrophic nutrition auto means self okay the plants are able to prepare their food materials by themselves that's why it's called as autotrophic nutrition how do they prepare the food material by taking the light energy from the sun and converting it into chemical energy and create and uh, uh, formulating the products of the glucose and releasing oxygen and water molecules the next four marks question is write a detailed account of the experiment conducted to test for the presence of the starch in plants after photosynthesis here this regarding this question already i have done a video already i have explained it in my video if you want you can go through the video but okay again once i'll explain you here just wait hold a minute okay now you can see it in the picture here the presence of the starch can be done in this manner here what you have to do means you have to take a trapoid stand on that you will place one asbestos gas under that of the asbestos gas you can see the bunsen burner on the trapoid stand on the asbestos gas you can see a beaker which is filled with the water so now into this wa water into this beaker of water you have to place a test tube which consists of the methylated spirit and to that methylated spirit you have to dip one green color leaf why because our experiment is to test the presence of the starch generally which organ will do the photosynthesis means the leaf will do the photosynthesis why because wherever in big big trees also if you observe the the leaves will be green in color that's why the leaves are called as kitchen of the plant so here you have to collect a fresh thin leaf and you have to dip that fresh thin leaf in the methylated spirit which is present in the test tube place this test tube in the beaker which contains the boiling water leave it like that for few minutes what happens is the methylated spirit will take off the green color that is present in the leaf and it will be converting the leaf into pale white in color means here what are we doing we are removing the chlorophyll why we have to remove the chlorophyll we have to remove the chlorophyll to get the exact result why because here when we are testing with iodine solution we may not get the correct result but if you remove the chlorophyll we are just removing the chlorophyll we are not removing the starch we are removing the chlorophyll so here the methylated spirit helps in removal of the chlorophyll from the leaf okay so that Uh, uh, that leaf in which the chlorophyll was removed you have to take out that leaf with a thin brush and you have to place it in the petri dish when you place it in the petri dish and when you drop two two three drops of iodine solution to that leaf the leaf changes to blue black color the leaf changes to blue black color once i'll repeat it you have to take one tripoid stand on that tripoid stand where you have to place one asbestos gas on that asbestos gas you have to take one beaker which is filled with water and down you have to place the bunsen burner the water in the beaker will be boiling into that boiling water you have to place a test tube which consists of the methylated spirit to this methylated spirit you have to place one green color leaf why are we placing the leaf in the methylated spirit means we wanted to remove the chlorophyll from the leaf and now after the chlorophyll has been lost into the methylated spirit you have to remove the leaf with the help of the thin brush and place that leaf in the petri dish and you have to test this petri leaf with the iodine solution when you test it with iodine solution the leaf will turn to deep blue in color deep blue or you can say it changes to dark blue black in color if blue black in color if it is changing here you can see it here just you can see it the presence of the starch will be indicated by the presence of the starch will be indicated by blue black color okay if the uh, to say 
if you want to test the starch whether the starch is present or not you have to test it with the blue uh, iodine solution and with the iodine solution when you are testing it the ch leaf changes to blue black color okay and next here what are they saying you have to test it with the which solution spread the leaf in the petri dish and add a few drops of tincture iodine or betadine solution you have to add it the betadine solution or tincture iodine then the leaf will automatically changes to blue black color if the starch is present so from this experiment we can say that the photosynthesis will help in the preparation of the starch and the storage food material in the plants is starch okay this is about the clear explanation of the ninth question now going to the 10th question so let us go back to the 10th question here this is all we have completed now going to the 10th question draw a representative diagram showing the factors and products of photosynthesis for this i'll show you a diagram just hold on yeah this is the diagram you have to draw here photosynthesis diagram clearly it is showing that sunlight so first of all we have to know what are the products that are required for the photosynthesis or what are the raw material for the photosynthesis the raw material for the photosynthesis if you observe water is one of the raw material carbon dioxide is one of the raw material and sunlight is one of the raw material here the the most important one is chlorophyll which is present in the leaf this is also one of the raw material so what are the raw materials water carbon dioxide sunlight and chlorophyll these are the four raw materials for the process of the photosynthesis after the process of the photosynthesis what will be released back into the atmosphere means oxygen will be released oxygen will be released oxygen will be released back into the atmosphere and next uh, uh what sorry water will be released back into the atmosphere as well as the starch or glucose will be formed glucose will be formed and excess glucose will be converted to the uh, converted to starch and it will be stored it in the plant body so this diagram you have to draw for the 10th question okay i think you have understood all these videos and if you like the video please do subscribe to my channel if you are having any doubts you can comment me and surely i'll answer the questions thank you for subscribing my channel thank you